Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel Ranger and Rin. Ranger here. Now this is gonna be my playthrough and walkthrough for Wasteland 3. Um I only finished the game once. Um I used Ranger difficulty so that has friendly fire. That might be different from whatever mode you're playing unless you're playing also Ranger or Supreme Jerk. Um, I also played the game a few times just to experiment with a few things uh, like builds and stuff. Now, my videos are gonna have spoilers. A lot of spoilers and they're gonna be long. Um, some videos might be just 15 minutes. Some might be an hour or an hour and a half. So I'll leave like timestamps at the description or at one of the comments. So you can just use that, click it, so you can skip the video um, I won't be wasting your time with that said let's get on with the video all right so for this video I'm gonna be doing this Arthur so you get this transmission could be just random when you're driving around Colorado and this is it right there so you will need uh, protection for your Kodiak for the radiation and there's a Scarpitron here you might encounter it um, you can avoid it for now just go this way especially if you're not like within this level it's gonna be hard to kill oh uh, yeah um, just put the awareness connected to um, your mission with Gary Wolf for hunting down synthetics. Um, you kill two birds with one stone. You do this secondary mission. Sometimes it's weird. It just slows down by itself. And I tried this I was driving around in Colorado. Just I wasn't recording. Still slow. It happens. Anyways, talk to this guy. Sure am glad to see you folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got us a genuine crisis here. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, Martian robots, anyhow. Don't know what else they could be. They showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. I reckon the Martians want my Tellarium, so they sent their war machines to jump my claim. <laughs> this here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Harder than any man I ever saw, and a fear to nothing. I once saw her bite a grizzly bear right on the ass. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, dude. Folks around here call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> don't much bother me. Trudy don't seem to mind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whoa. Where was I? Oh, oh yeah, the Martians. Me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> One of them was as big as a house. I could tell right off they weren't no scavengers. They was something else. Yes, sir. <laughs> but wait till you hear the weird part. Now, <clears throat> I bet you're <clears throat> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bulb 
would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. Am I right? We get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <clears throat> Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be. But not the Martians. Oh, <clears throat> no, sir. They turned up the scavengers, got matter in a pack of wet hornets. They came at the Martians from all directions. But me and Trudy caught in the middle. <laughs> I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell. And you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up. <laughs> well, I ran down here to call for help and. I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now, and I'm getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about these dang robots? <laughs> I reckon you do. <laughs> Ask away. <clears throat> I'm always glad for a little conversation. Just ask Trudy. It's a wonder I ain't talked her ears off after all these years. Can't say we do, unless you count the scavengers, and they ain't much for conversation. <coughs> nope, me and Trudy are left to ourselves most times. Gets lonely up here, <coughs> especially in the winter. But we got the mind to keep us busy, and we talk to pass the time. That Trudy. A hell of a listener, let me tell you. <laughs> Glad you asked. It's this mineral that's good for making electronics and such. Most of what we scrape out of the mine, we send to the Patriarch. Most folks won't handle it because it's toxic. But I ain't never had no problems with it. <coughs> this used to be a gold mine, you know, way back before the bombs fell. <coughs> Mine got played out, the owners turned it into some kind of tourist trap. <laughs> I came up here hoping there might still be a little gold left, but found the Tellarium instead. It ain't an easy life. <laughs> but it keeps me and Trudy fed. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl, let me tell you. <laughs> oh yeah, started a few years back. <laughs> First one group, then another. They'd roll in, tear things up, take whatever they could. <coughs> Lately, though, it's been a different bunch. Got a leader named uh, Neil Stack, Neil Stack, something like that. <coughs> we never know when they're gonna turn up, but when Trudy hears them coming, <coughs> we set out a little tellarium, and they leave us be. Not the best deal, maybe, but it's getting killed. Fair enough. Change your mind. You know where to find me. <coughs> they used to call it Tellarium Breath back in the day. <coughs> Occupational hazard, I reckon. <coughs> Been up here so long, I don't even notice. Trudy don't mind, so why should I? I knew you was good folks the minute I laid eyes on you. Yes, sir. <coughs> Mine's just over that hill yonder. We find Trudy and chase them dang robots off my claim. <coughs> One more thing. If you find Trudy, she could well. You know. <coughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. She kept them safe for me. I'll be waiting here when you're done. <clears throat> Good luck up there. <laughs> All right, so that avenger I was talking about is no sack. Uh, give me mechanics six. Because uh, what he's asking to do is get rid of all the robots here. Uh, the synthetic you're hunting for Gary Wolf is here. It's gonna be one Scorpion, and there's gonna be an old sack right before that fight. You can let him go, or you can kill him. 
Um, I made a mistake before letting go, got angry. So if you really want to complete this, and yeah, um, this is happening again. It's an error with the game. Disregard this. I'm gonna have to exit the game just to get rid of this, so I'm gonna do that. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop here for now. And yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Be back in shortly. Okay, so got rid of that. Um, don't bother going back to the title screen. Oh, um, yeah, we really have to exit the game. Here, so I'm just gonna get a box. Go ahead. Um, if you have animal companion, uh, the box adds the leadership. Um, yeah. So, see, okay, it's added. And Trudy is actually a dog. Care of them robots yet? <coughs> Trudy, yeah. Me and Trudy ain't getting any younger, you know. <coughs> huh? Robot, repair it. There's this bug that's coming. It'll help me. And Earl, this is the same thing. Yeah, I'm um, gonna save first. Okay, so for this. So this is the same thing. I'm gonna talk to Null Sack first. This is also again so doing this. Okay. Null Sack. Then at the same time, um, you can finish. Let's talk to this dude first. Initiating diagnostic checks. Motive system disabled. Power supply damaged. Deactivating non-critical subsystem to conserve power. Alert! Proximity sensors activated. Initiate defensive combat protocol. Evaluating success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Enabling communications protocol. Initiate self-preservation subterfuge 001. Adorable human boy. Grandma? Is that you? Grandma, it's Timmy. I can't move. I need delirium, Grandma. Please. <laughs> grandma! Please, Grandma! I'm so sad! Can I have some tellurium? Tellurium makes everything better! You love giving me tellurium, remember? Do that. 
Oh, 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 Carpetron, the other robots are gonna increase. You can activate these terminals and this is going to help you. But... Uh, 
Turn away. Here's me hoping Bonnie doesn't die. On my head! Need some help! What if I get that experience?
for you. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. Thank you. How are you? Knew you had my back. right there. Uh, we get stuck. I'm gonna end it here for the video for the synthetic for the hunt for the sense. Then I'm just gonna pin you and go to her. So I can save the computer. So. something oh, ever hurt no one in her life not unless they were asking for it anyhow <coughs> she was a sweet good-hearted lady and a hard worker yes sir I want to miss her something fierce Anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Can't run the machinery in the mine without them codes. <laughs> Damn them robots! Each and every one! I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy! You, uh... <coughs> you did get them all, didn't you? So if you did decide to help Nolsack... <laughs> get Ain't no pile of scrap metal gonna stop old Bulb, no sir. I got just a thing to clear that mess out. <laughs> Have that mind going again in no time. You wait and see. Sure is a relief not to have them dang robots taking my ore. Been a thorn in my side for a long time. I'm grateful for your help. <laughs> Fine folk. Yes, sir. Real salt of the earth. <coughs> Helping a poor old man around and asking nothing in return. Maybe there's some hope for this wasted world after all. Y'all come back anytime. Um, I'm actually running out of secondary missions. Yeah. This one is. I don't think it should be. Secondary mission. This is more like a primary. It's actually related to the story, but yeah. Anyways, if you have any questions for Wasteland 3, you know, just here in the comments. You can like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So.